What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about the confirmation that Scream 5 has multiple scripts and edits. So, uh, I want to say this very early, because I know people are probably going to say this in the comments, or they'll voice their opinion through dislikes or whatever. I know that we already knew this, but the word confirmed is important, because this was told to, I believe, Bloody Disgusting is the, is the website that talked about this, and they said that it was confirmed to them by the filmmakers themselves. So, this is like, okay, it's as official as it can be I don't think it was ever actually you know what I mean like it was leaked it was talked about where we all knew and if you know the history of Scream which I, I know I'm talking to the choir here right we all know the history of Scream we know that there's kind of always this situation and it's kind of gotten more convoluted maybe in a, maybe in a good way maybe not in a good way uh really ever since Scream 2 right that there's been multiple edits there's been multiple scripts they're just handed out people don't know who the killer is people don't know if they're actually gonna die or not they're they film stuff that doesn't actually make it all that stuff okay and that's gotten you know built up more and more as these movies have come out it's kind of become part of like the the mythos i would say is that the right word i don't think it's the right word but it's become kind of like that uh for screen so now it's official so i want to read out what bloody disgusting said and we'll go from there really quickly as always welcome back i know a, a back-to-back video video of Scream. We did one yesterday. We're doing one today. Make sure if you guys do like this stuff, you're subscribed, bell icon turned on, all that good stuff, and give this video a like. I'm trying this out. I'm trying to tell people to give the video a like to see if it kind of helps YouTube spread out. So very, very easy. You know, hit the red subscribe button and then hit the the, the upvote right, uh, right above it, okay? Thank you all very much, and honestly, thank you all so much for the support you've given me with these Scream videos. All right, basically, they've learned that there will there will not only be multiple versions, or there not only is multiple versions of the Scream screenplay, but also the movie with the purpose to basically uh, confuse fans who want to spoil the final product. So there's the confirmation that there's different scripts, that there's you know different people probably got different scripts, and that there's literally different versions of the movie to throw people off. Now, What's interesting is, you know, over the last couple of weeks, we've heard, well, we heard from like that leaker that said that there was a, they were part of like a 25 person group that watched the whole movie. Remember, it was the person that said it was like two and a half hours. And uh, what's like, what I wonder about that, like if that was true. Now, I don't necessarily believe it, but if it was true, uh, like, did they see the version they were actually going to go with? Did they see like all of the different cuts? And then they're saying, okay, well, we're going to take all of these, you know, like, we're going to like, pick these certain cuts to keep in and some of the stuff we're going to take out. I was going to say, or maybe they watched like the fake version, but if they're showing it and like the directors were there, you know, the, that's again what the leak said. Now we know, I think almost as a fact, I think it is a fact that Kevin Williamson, he did get to see an early cut of this movie. So I'd imagine he got to see the real one. And again, um, as they've done recently, uh, I, I know especially I think with Scream 4, this was the case, right? Nev Campbell, she gets the actual, like, she's one of the only people, besides, like, the director, that knows what's gonna happen. I think she's earned that, right? I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think that's actually kind of cool. Like, not only do you get to say you're Nev Campbell, not only do you get to be Sidney Prescott, but you get to say, you know, I've been part of this, and I'm such an important role to this movie, that I know more about what the movie's gonna be. Now, you could say, well, people should probably know, anybody that's in the movie should know what's going on, but she gets to say that she knows, actually, what's happening in the movie versus other, it's, it's possible, even people like Courtney Cox and David Arquette don't actually know. Okay, I think they probably, I think for Scream 4, didn't all of them, or maybe it was just her. Again, my, my memory gets hazy when we talk about the behind the scenes of all these movies. But I'd imagine some of the core cast, probably those three, deserve it, deserve to actually know what's going on. And then a lot of the newbies, you know, they're like, well, just give them something, and they could be the killer, they could not be. What I've always never understood about that, though, is like, well, I guess, yeah, if you have very different versions of it, you could pull it off. I was going to say, like, if you film... A death scene or you film you're the murderer you're the per you're the killer you're ghost face like if you film that you got to imagine that like that's a likelihood that's gonna that you are you know what i mean and then, and then it's like, kind of like okay well like don't you then know that that script is like the right script but again we don't know how many different versions they film you know you could have a person you could have maybe they they picked three or four different people to be ghost face and then only two of them ended up um what I really hope, though, see what I love about, like, Scream 1, and it gets a little bit more convoluted for, like, 2, 3, even, like, 4. Well, like, 2 had a lot of rewrites, and they were doing it on the fly. 3 had a lot of problems as well. Like, 
I like knowing that they knew what they were doing going into it. You know what I mean? Did I say that like, maybe the right way? Where, like, you know, you can tell from Billy and Stu. Like, one of the main things I love about Scream 1 is Billy and Stu, how they hold the knife. So, like, I've, like and we've probably all heard about it. Like, they hold the knife and they do their kind of thrusts. Like, they're stabbing. They do it differently. And... They knew that, right? So, like, uh, and they like they were told by Wes to, to do certain things like that. So, like, they obviously knew going in, like, okay, you two are very clearly it. When he got to Scream 2, it became a little bit more where it was like they, they were working on who was left-handed versus right-handed, right? Because they were going more, I guess, really more in-depth. But then when they killed Randy, you had to use the mirror, which, which reflected the hand, which made it obviously the opposite one. So, like, it got a little bit more, you know what I mean? Like, it got a little bit more weird. So, basically, what I'm saying is, I hope they didn't do like what I said. You pick four, let's say. Okay, so you have four killers, and then you pick two of them, and and in all four of them, you also have versions where they're not the killers, right? And then you pick the versions where you have the two that you want it. I, I want it to feel very natural. I want it to feel like from start to finish. Yeah, obviously we're not gonna know who the killers are in the beginning of the movie. We may not even know in the middle of the movie. But by the ending, or when you rewatch it, like for you know, some people probably watch this a hundred times, which is totally uh, fair, and I understand that. Uh, you know, you should be able to see some hints that like, oh, okay, here's the little things we can pick out. Oh, maybe this person was holding the knife a certain way. Oh, maybe this person was absent from this area when something else was going on. Obviously, Scream 4 went a lot with like phones and technology, like cell phones. Like, oh, this person kind of stole or they were using this person's phone, all that. You know what I mean? So, and you can kind of see that as you watch the movie over and over again. You can see those little things. It's a little bit harder, though, for like Scream 2 and 3. You know what I mean? So I hope that for this movie, for Scream 5, Scream 2022, there's a very clear path where from be beginning to end, it all makes sense. And I think that, you know, we haven't heard any behind the scenes like turmoil that like, oh, they had to rewrite the script 30 times. We haven't heard any of that. So I would like to believe that all of the stuff that we're hearing, different versions, different scripts, it's kind of just all the normal stuff. You know what I mean? Throw people off, make it so that people that, you, it's very possible the movie does get leaked. You know what I mean? And, and, and if you believe the leaks we've already talked about on this channel, it's possible the movie is already out there. But what if it's possible that what we've talked about, what I've even said on multiple these videos, you know, Critical Overlord talks about this stuff, Kill, uh, Kill Joy Jake, all of us, right? What if we're talking about the fakes? And that, and you know what? That's uh, I like that. I like that. No, I don't think. Uh, I don't like to think like we're spreading fake news. I feel like maybe we're falling for fake stuff. But you know what? Again, it's being spread around as if it's the real thing. But I like that. I mean. There's been movies before. Again, I'm not a big horror guy. I've told you guys that before. Like, I don't watch a lot of horror movies. But I've had movies spoiled for me, specifically, actually, because I have a channel. And, and I talk about it, and people will see the movie early. Maybe, sometimes it's, like, a day. Sometimes it's a few weeks early. And they'll end up commenting, and they'll ruin the whole thing. Like I, or, or we'll find leaks for things months in advance, and they'll turn out to be true. For a movie like Scream, very different, right? Not every movie has... Say there's, like, three different versions of this film. Not every movie has that. In fact, very few movies have more than one version obviously there's like deleted scenes and stuff like that or there's things they wanted in it and they just couldn't put in but there's normally like one version and like one clear ending one clear like your villain is going to be your villain versus again in scream they could have filmed a Dewey death scene and not done anything with it, right? It could not be in the movie. They could have filmed Sydney dying, and that could not be in it. Or maybe it is. Do you know what I mean? And so I like that. I lo in fact, I love that because you really don't see that a lot with films in general. So, yeah, again, like I know this is already confirmed. Again, I said that in the first 10 seconds, so hopefully nobody you know, uh, says anything in the comments or, again, like dislikes and stuff. But, you know, I know we already knew this. I know this is a, I know this is a thing that's happened for past Scream movies for a long, long time, and, uh, and we've heard leaks and stuff that this has this was happening i guess i should say but now we know it for sure and i think that again that, that makes it really really exciting and that the potential uh i think the potential kind of raises of how good this could be and i also think again like over the next year we're gonna hear a lot like there's no doubt we hear oh dewey's definitely dying you know and, and we could hear that over and over and over again we'll talk about it for sure we'll talk about it but it's very possible when we see the movie doesn't die and it's like oh shoot that was one of the fake things that they did to throw us off and uh, again like this movie has that kind of privilege to do that that not every movie very few movies uh, actually can right so let me know guys in the comments below what do you think maybe uh, you kind of go wild how many scripts do you think there are how many endings do you think there are how many you know, what do you think they've done with the different versions go crazy let me know
know. As always, again, make sure you guys are subscribed, bell icon turned on. All my social media stuff is in the description below. I know I've asked you guys about Twitter before, so you guys can follow or subscribe or any of that stuff in the description for all my other social media. But again, just give this video a like, too. Obviously, I'd love you guys to subscribe, but just hitting the like button, I think, would definitely help the video as well, okay? Thank you all so much for watching. As always, I do a weekly screen video, and then when things like this pop up, I am absolutely for sure covering it, okay? Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you all on the next video.